tubers. I'm back in Sol 620, and I just wanted to show you this area here. It's going to be this part of this picture. Let's see what's behind here. I believe there's a lot of manipulation going on here. You see this black smudge? You see what they're hiding? What's behind it? More black smudging. Those are not shadows. Here's another black smudge. You can kind of see what's behind there. Why would that be black when this is lit right here? Ask yourself that important question. And we can all say the hell with NASA. We, we know we got you figured out. It's going in here more black. Why would this be black here when this is lit? You understand? See this? This is supposed to be black shadowing, right? And why is that piece lit? Standing right up, why is it lit? Because this is what they're hiding. See on the edge of the picture here? This little area, see what's coming out? See that black? And then see the box? See the perfect rectangular box they put there, black box. I love, I love this. I just love that they make this so easy for me. Let's see what they got hidden here. See how this looks like? Almost, let's see if we get it to focus. Quality so bad that the camera don't even want to focus on this nonsense. Looks like blocks or something lined up. Look at it. It's just like perfect line. Just so cool, this stuff. Just way too cool. I could do this all day. My back is feeling a little better. I'm going to start banging out a couple of these videos for you guys. Sorry, I just I wasn't feeling good enough. I, I just couldn't even sit in this chair. If any of you guys watch Deadliest Catch, uh, the guy on, uh, the younger guy with the blonde hair, uh, I think it's the Seabrook. See the way he wasn't even able to sit in the chair to, you know, to basically captain the boat. That pain he has in his back. You see the way he was squirming and everything. I got the same thing. And uh, they want to do surgery on my back in the worst way. But uh, I just don't like the results that I'm seeing. So I'm a results type of guy. I want to see the results. And I just don't see it. See this? See how they just put more blur and just hit, hit this beautiful thing? See how perfect this black shadow is? See? See how perfect the line is on that black shadow? See here? I don't buy this. Because I can see what's hidden underneath it. See this? All this stuff. You see the face of the statue right here? Right when I move this, you're going to see the face of the statue. You see that? That's what's behind this. That's what they're hiding. They just put a little blur on that and lightened it up, and it's gone. Look at this intricate thing. You gotta ask yourself. See, most people are just not. See how this is? To me, this is all fake. This is all added. They're just cutting a piece of this. If this is even real sand, like down here, and then they're just putting it in here. They use the magic wand to pick out a certain area, and then they're filling it. You can see how the lines are hard. You gotta ask yourself: If this is lit here, why isn't this lit? 
how come this little piece is lit but this is not lit and the problem is is there's just a handful of people that are asking this question and that's the that's the main problem you see what's coming out up here see this blur that they put right over here see this that's a statue most of this slate that you see is all fake it's all fake If you saw the real picture to this, you'd probably wet your pants. The real unedited picture. See this piece of machinery back here? I think that's some type of piece of machinery. Old piece, but you can see. It's uh, some type of worked metal with some type of arm coming out of it. And then here's more of this black. See what they're hiding? And it just so happens to be that there's more weird structure. See, this black, see, that's just computer added. That's all it is. Why would this piece of black be hot floating in the sky? But you have to ask yourself this, right? That black, why is this lit here? Because if they put black all over this, you might as well not even, I, I don't even know why we see the pictures anyway. I would actually be happier if they just had a rover failure. Because this is actually embarrassing that the world, the world's eyes see this nonsense. And you see what they're hiding? See this blur? They had to put the white over it. You see the carving? It looks like a dragon's head. You see all the piping and these carvings are intricate. See the size of this stuff? See the shadows? Now that's a real shadow there. This is nonsense. This black when you see, look at it, look at how hard that line is. It's just not real. See this? This is covering up something, that white smudge. This black here is covering up something. This is covering up something. Then what's happening is my videos, when I upload them to YT, they're blasting the contrast on my videos. So I found a way around it. I'm going to see. They could they could do that all day to my stuff. It's still not going to stop me. See what's coming out of the top of this? See? That's got some type of opening. See the structure to this white piece? There's more of it in here. These are all white. See this? This is a beautiful carving. Okay, put the blur on there. This is all a fake black smudge. So all this is is all a fake black smudge. You can see the carving of the head coming out. See a little green they put over it. You see the other carving here. See, these are all fake black smudges in here. You can see what's underneath here. There's something big time going on there, but this is all fake, this black. Let's look at this, it's perfectly lit, and there's nothing blocking the sunlight the angle of sunlight coming down to light that there's nothing because this is lit all this ground here is lit so there's nothing big up here so this should all be lit and it took me a while to grasp grasp this concept see all this blaring These big shots think they got us all. They treat us like a bunch of sheep. You know, I'm no, I'm no big conspiracy guy. I don't believe in, you know, I don't buy into all that Illuminati and all, you know. I just don't buy into all. I'm not a big conspiracy guy. That's not my thing. But one thing I know for sure, 
since a kid. And man, it sucked when I realized that is that NASA is probably not even telling 10% of the truth. I think this thing looks like some type of gargoyle. <laughs> and they just buried it in this fakeness. And that was a hard fact for me to swallow when I realized as a kid that NASA is nothing but a bunch of lies. They were my god. <laughs> they were very important to me. Then I realized what was going on. I see stuff like this. So yeah, I'm not no big conspiracy guy. I'm very well grounded. I'm a reality person. What I see, one plus one is two. I never try, try to take a long jump off of something and create something that's not there. What I see in these pictures is real. So, and I don't pay attention to any pictures that are not off an official NASA website. I get pictures every day, and they're useless to me. You know, I have a guy that you know, says he worked in the Air Force and for NASA. And he sent me uh, a link to a Mercury picture, which was amazing. And uh, one other picture that he just doesn't want me saying right now. But, I mean, if you watch that Mercury video I did, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, there's a lot going on out here in our own little universe in our backyard. So, all I ask is you open your eyes. See this? Open your eyes and take this journey with us. And as usual, this used to be favorites until I change it because these are the best channels on the tube. It started off right on the top. Amazon KC. Really got her head on straight. Amazing, amazing. Understands the blur. Understands all that fake, uh, you know, all this, all the manipulation in these photos. You're gonna see big things coming from her. Big. Third phase of the moon. They put all of it out there. You make up your mind. Goonies, if you like fireworks. BP. You know, there's not much to say there. You know, you know the deal. Good info, W7. You're not getting any better for news. There's nobody, nobody's better than him. He's got a lot of haters, but man, I tell you, to me it seems like the same 10 people. <laughs> Olympus Sky, great work, Mars Unmasked, even better. Mars Anomalies, now you're stepping to the top. What's up in the Sky 37? Will over there. For me to be mentioned in this group of names, you know, to me is like hitting the lottery. I just never expected this kind of stuff from my channel. These numbers you're seeing, I figured maybe after a year or two, I just, I didn't, I didn't really care. This didn't, that really doesn't mean much to me. If one person gets it, that one person is going to tell somebody. My thing in life is slow and steady. I got no big news channels picking my stuff up. You know, no big help like that. So it's just all word of mouth and slow and steady and hard work. This is one of the big ones that I just did recently. You can see, that's some type of life. There's a little worm in the back there. You gotta check it out. A bunch of cool stuff. This is the gray alien I found in the billion pixel picture, holding something here. Some say it's a gun. I did this video to show you how to find them in that billion pixel. All right, guys. Remember, give some love to these guys and girls. Two seekers out.